Now we'll be looking at complex line integral and we'll be solving three problems on it. Before that, please like, share and subscribe this particular channel and click on bell icon to get a new notification. Let us start now. Now coming to the complex line integral. Right? The complex line integral of a function f of z which is u plus iv where u and v are the function of x and y. Along a closed curve of path c is obtained by what we do in the case of a complex line integral is nothing but integral over a closed curve c f of z dz is equal to integral over a closed curve u plus iv is a function f of z and would be integrating with respect to 2 dx plus i dy. When you multiply both of them, then you get integral or closed curve u into dx minus v into dy plus i into v dx minus u dy. Right? This is the integration method we would be using to find the complex line integral. Okay? The general thing that we know is nothing but if c is in a closed curve, then the integral is denoted by respect is simple integration in a circle and below we keep c in f of z dz. Okay? Now come to the examples. The question is the value of integral 0 to 1 plus ix square minus i by dz along a given two curves y is equal to x square and y is equal to x. So we are going with the first one y is equal to x square right and you have to find the integral 0 to 1 plus i x square minus i by dz right but we know that dz is equal to nothing but dx plus i dy right but y is equal to x square then we can say dy is equal to 2x dx right now come to the limits it is given from 0 to 1 plus i it is nothing but 1 comma 1 right along the real axis and imaginary axis so it is nothing but x and y values given so we can say 0 to 1 so just substituting values here we get 0 to 1 x square minus i into y is x square into dz is nothing but dx plus i dy dy is 2x dx so which is equal to but integral 0 to 1 it becomes 1 minus i into x square if we bring here so it becomes x square plus i 2x cube into dx right taking dx common here and 1 minus i here then we get this it is 1 minus i into x cube by 3 plus i into 2 into x power 4 by 4 and the limits from 0 to 1 right so it becomes 1 minus i into 1 by 3 plus i by 2 right so one side goes by two side right so it becomes 1 minus i into 2 plus 3i by 6 so just to multiply it we get 2 plus 3i minus 2i plus 3 by 6 which is equal to 5 plus i by 6 so we got an a integration value for the closed curve y is equal to x square right so so it is given as 5 plus i by 6 right now when you consider the second curve the second curve it is given as y is equal to x and we have to find the integral from 0 to 1 plus i x square minus i y dz right we know that dz is equal to nothing but dx plus i dy right now y is equal to x then dy is equal to dx so which is equal to nothing but dx plus i dx only which is equal to 1 plus i dx right now come in the limits here the limits are given from 0 to 1 plus i right which is nothing but 1 comma 1 right so limits would be 0 to 1 only as we know y is equal to x right so integral from 0 to 1 x square minus i y is x and dz is nothing but 1 plus i 
dx right so when you integrate it becomes nothing but 1 plus i into x cube by 3 minus i into x square by 2 and the limits are from 0 to 5 so it becomes 1 plus i into 1 by 3 minus i by 2 which is equal to 1 plus i into it becomes 2 minus 3i by 6 so which is equal to 2 minus 3i just multiplying it okay plus 2i plus 3 by 6 right so which is equal to nothing but it becomes 5 minus i by 6 so for the curve y is equal to x we got the value as 5 minus i by 6 right this is a method of finding the integral of a complex numbers